Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhouse here. This here is a photo. Looks maybe a little bit odd now. <clears throat> but I call this one Bioluminescent Ocean. Originally I shot it in color. You can see it right here. And what it actually is, it is consists of 10 photos that I overlapped, put on top of each other. And each photo was a 10 second exposure panning from right to left of breaking bioluminescent waves here in Carlsbad, California. So the cool thing was when there's a red tide last year, I think I shot this in May 2020, actually right after when the beaches started to open again here during COVID. Um, I went at midnight to the beach, got a whole bunch of shots of these waves that give this nice vibrant blue color when they break because of the little organisms that are in it. And actually we had that red tide for like three months or so, I believe. So the cool thing about this is that because I overlapped a whole bunch of waves, there's a lot of blue or you can see it here, there was a lot of blue in it. The, the moon was out, it was not completely full, but it was there. And these li little bright spots, actually you can also see it here, is when the moon was reflecting off the inside of breaking waves. And because that happens so fast, even though it was like a, a 10 second exposure, because that wave breaks so fast and there's just a, a glint of light on it, that still appears sharp as little bright spots. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is the first time I'm going to hand color this image. Actually, I've sold it several times before, just as is, as with, with the blues and as the original color photo. But this nice couple met me at an event last weekend and they wanted it hand colored. And the nice thing is, I got some artistic freedom to do it, so I don't necessarily have to follow exactly the way it is in the original color photo. But my plan is to add like different blues to it. So I wrote down play with blues. So let's do it. I'm going to color the image with my Marshall photo oils, which are very translucent oils dedicated for this work to color black and white photos. So let's take some sky blue to start with. And then I use cotton rounds and Q-tips to add the paint, but for big surfaces like this, I'll use a lot of cotton rounds. And for the detailed work, maybe f to remove some paint on these waves here, I'll use cotton swabs. So this was actually printed at 24 by 12 inches on matte resin coated photo paper. So this is a chemically developed photo. This doesn't need any coating or spraying like I do with my inkjet prints. You can color this directly with the oils. So let's grab some of that blue. And added to the sky here. So this is actually the sky. Horizon is somewhere around here. And then this is the beach. So there are several types of blue that comes with Marshall photo oils. This is called sky blue, which reminds me a lot of phthalo blue. There's Chinese blue, which is this one. We're also going to use that one. And then there's Sarge blue. We also have Air Force blue, which is more like a purple. 
and then background aquamarine and I think I also would like to use that one background aqua so I'm adding some Chinese blue here which is a little bit more towards um, green okay let's, have, let's add some background aqua to the lighter parts here so the lighter the photo, the lighter the grays towards, towards white uh, the more saturated your colors will be because the grays underneath the transparent colors desaturate the colors So we get the most saturated colors on the, the lightest parts of the image. And that goes for every black and white photo, not, not just this one. Okay, let's still change that up a little. So I'm gonna add some other colors through here. It's actually the most abstract image that I've ever colored. Yeah, it looks nice, these slight variations here. I want some more color here. Okay, let's have a look at, let's see if I can find the Air Force Blue. It's this one. This whole tube is coming apart. Okay, so that tube broke. See how it's more of a purple towards purple. Okay, another blue, Sarge blue. More like a desaturated blue.
a matter of putting on large areas of color and then we're going to smooth it out later and take care of some details. Okay, so I want to go back to that sky blue. Oh, that was Chinese blue. Sky blue. And add some here. I also want some more of that aquamarine in this in this area. Okay, now let's take a clean cotton round and smooth out some of these brush strokes. So we'll make some circular motions here, but later after this I'm still going to like go left and right with my uh, wipes. This blends nice to get out some of these areas with different blues. Especially that aquamarine we just added here. how it's picking up that color. Okay, taking a clean, clean one now. Now I just want to go left and right. So the overall like flow of the image is still left to right. out some of these imperfections like little blobs of paint.
Okay, looks pretty good. And then maybe remove a little more here. Get some variation in values too. It's nice, there's a little bit of slight purple here. In the original photo, this was more towards brown here. But we kept it more towards the, the blues. And if I remember correctly, there were a few very bright spots. So let's see if you add a little bit more saturated colors in a certain locations. So you just put it on thick. And also some of that sky blue. There we go. Now let's smooth that out carefully because we don't want to remove too much of that paint. I want to blend it more or less in with its environment, but but keep that saturated look. Just like that. Let's see, I still want more sky blue. Let's put a big blob here. And then with the clean side, smooth it out a little bit more again. And let's take a clean cotton swab and remove some of that paint on the brightest spots where the, where the moon was reflecting off the waves. And then remove the paint here and there. So again, add some more contrast, structure, variation. And then I would like to make that a little more subtle in the sky. Now here it looks good, but they're like little ripples, but 
and the sky would like that a little more subtle. And it's finished. So we have a very abstract photo of waves breaking with bioluminescence. The moon shining on the inside of the breaking waves, which are the most brighter spots, colored with Marshall photo oils with a variety of blues. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.